welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Today is a Monday and today is the start of a very busy week because it's Alice's birthday on Saturday and I haven't done a single thing yet. So I've got lots to try and get done this week. I need to try and get it done by Wednesday or at least by the, the end of Thursday because Thursday evening um, at the theatre for press night and then I'm out all day Friday uh, in going to Leeds for a press night. So yeah, I need to get everything done in the next three days really. So today I need to go and get some wrapping paper for her presents. Um, so I can wrap her presents up tomorrow. So I'm just going to nip to Tesco because I just want plain coloured wrapping paper. And then I'm going to do some, um, hopefully, I've not even checked if I've got the right colour um, vinyl. Hopefully I'll be cutting out some vinyl and sticking that on it so to make it sort of Pikmin wrapping paper so that is the plan for that um and yeah i also want to pick up some party bags as well and then today i'm making her cake because that needs that's the most important thing that i definitely need to get done the other bits if they don't get done it's not the end of the world but she definitely needs her cake so i'm doing that today so i'm going to quickly pop to tesco now and then as soon as i get back i'm going to start making a cake because that's going to take all day to just bake it and everything and then tomorrow i'll be decorating a cake and then wednesday i'll have to try and do everything else so yeah i'll get back to you in a bit okay so i'm just in tesco and i need to get pink and green wrapping paper because that's alice's color theme for her party I need to try and find some pink straws and some pink forks actually as well, which I've forgotten to do, so I'll just have a quick look, see if they've got anything like that as well. I've also picked up some party bags. So it's now 20 to 11, finished in Tesco, got the what I needed, and now I'm just waiting for the bus, I think it's doing about five minutes, and then when I get home, I've got Alice's cake to start making. Hi, so it is now, just coming up to two o'clock. And I ended up having to rush out to the shop because I didn't have enough eggs for the cake. This always happens. I thought we had two boxes of 12 eggs, but apparently there was only one or two left in the other box. And Lauren used them for his lunch, so I didn't have enough. If he hadn't used two for his lunch, I would have had enough. <laughs> he didn't realise and I didn't realise, so I had to run out to the shop. So I have just... I picked myself up a sausage roll and a donut from Greg's. I'm going to quickly eat that as my lunch. And I need to crack on getting this cake done because I wanted to get it done before they finish school, which is not going to be now, but it should be out the oven, um, hopefully just after they get home from school. And then, because I don't want them in the oven when they need to do their dinner. So anyway, I'm going to quickly eat this and get back on with the baking. Hi, today is Tuesday. It's currently nearly 11 o'clock i don't know where the morning's gone i've done nothing and i've got loads to do I've just got all alice's birthday presents out here i've just filmed a quick birthday haul video and now i'm going to wrap them all up I need to get that done quick and then i need to decorate her cake today make the rice crispy cakes make the biscuits that all needs to be done today so then tomorrow and thursday i can make the pinata and make her birthday t-shirt that's the plan. We'll see how far I get. So anyway, I'm going to get to wrapping up these presents and I'll get back to you later. Okay, so presents are wrapped. I'm wrapping half of them pink, half of them green. I've only got two green so far because four presents are coming tomorrow. So I'll wrap the other four green ones up tomorrow because her party colours are pink and green. So I just need to hide these now before she comes home and then I need to make a start on the cake. Hi, today is Wednesday. It is currently 12 o'clock. I have just started working on Alice's piñata for her birthday. It's a Pikmin piñata. It's supposed to be a pink flying Pikmin. Usually what I do when I do these is I print them off onto my A3, print out the shape I want onto my, with my A3 printer, but I haven't got an A3 printer anymore because it broke. So I just had to draw it freehand. So 
hopefully it'll be okay. I'll have to see what it looks like once I put all the tissue paper on because this is probably a bit more complicated than the ones I've usually done. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it. So this is my task for today. Uh, I don't think I filmed very much yesterday because I had so much to do. I literally just wanted to get it done. So I managed, I've done her cake. Um, I've done the cupcakes. They're all decorated. I've done the chocolate sticks. Um, I baked the biscuits. A lot of them have broken. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the biscuits. Um, they still need putting an ice on and stuff. So maybe that can help glue them together. I'm not sure, so I've not done them yet. That's tonight's task. I also made yesterday the Rice Krispie Treats. Um, and then tonight, when the kids are in bed, I'm going to put the chocolate on those, and then they're done. Uh, my task while they're at school is to try and get this to pinata done. So I've cut out the shape, got the strips, so now it's just a case of gluing it all together. So I'm going to get started now, and I'll do a time lapse of me doing it. Today is Thursday, it's actually coming up to 7 o'clock because I haven't actually filmed anything today because I've just been so busy trying to get everything done for Alice's birthday party. I've literally spent all day making this Pikmin piñata, can you see it? I'm not 100% happy with it, but it'll do. She likes it, she thinks it's a Pikmin. What I really wanted to do was do the eye outline so you could see the legs and the head in black, but I've just not got time to do it. It's going to take too long. so. It's staying like that. If I do end up having time, I'll do it. If not, it's like that. And she's happy with it, so that's all that matters. So, yeah, this evening I'm going to go and see a musical. I've been kindly invited to the press night of the Good Enough Mums Club at the Lowry. It's in their Keys Theatre. So I'm going to that with my mum tonight, which is a nice little break from all the party stuff I've been doing for Alice. Could do with a little break. And then when I get home, i probably get home about 11, something like half 10, 11. Then I'm going to do Alice's t-shirt and all the little bits that need doing on the computer because tomorrow i'm at leeds practically all day and night um to see oliver the musical at leeds playhouse i'm going to the press night of that with my friend natasha so i'm not really gonna have time to do anything tomorrow so when i get that tonight i'm gonna, just gonna stay up late and try and get all the other little bits done basically i need to do her t-shirt i need to do um a banner if I've got enough card if not it doesn't matter um what else um cupcake toppers and that that's it so hopefully I'll be able to get them done tonight we'll see but anyway I am gonna just make sure I've got my bag packed ready and my dad should be coming to pick me up any minute and then we're gonna head out so I'll get back to you once I'm at the Lowry So I've just arrived at the Lowry now, just here. Just gonna go across the bridge and head in, get our program and then find out where we're sitting.
we're in our seats now we're on the stalls here row O seats 7 and 8 so one's just sat across from me uh, it's due to start any minute I'll just quickly show you the view from my seat and then I'll get back to you in the interval okay so this is a view from our seat it's a really good view actually from the side um, zoom a bit on the set so it's now the interval it is quite loud out here i just got an orange juice mum's got wine uh, but the show's really good really enjoying it it's quite funny you find it funny yeah yeah does it remind you of your days of coming to yes it definitely took me back <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of my two. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'll just tell you more about it at the show. But yeah, so far we're enjoying it. The show has finished now. It was really good. The story was good. We enjoyed it. Some of the songs were really good in it as well. But we're just heading home now. So I'll tell you more about it probably tomorrow. It is now a bit later I'm back from the show I've been back for quite a while and I actually really enjoyed the show it was really good it was funny and I enjoyed the story so yeah it was a good good musical um, I'm currently just working on Alice's t-shirt for her birthday so this is the first time I've actually used oh it's gone on blurry first time I've actually used this machine properly I'm actually really enjoying the actual cutting bit the software is really annoying to use. Um, I have been using my Silhouette software instead and um, changing it into S SVG, S I don't know, it's not one of them files and then um, exporting it into my um, Cricut software. But sometimes it's not doing what I want it to do and it's just annoying to try and work around it. It'll, I just need to get used to it, I think, and then it'll be fine. Um, but like I said, the cutting on this is much better than on my old machine. So cut-wise, this is much better. It's just the software's a bit annoying at the minute. I just need to get used to it. But I'm gonna get on with this and then I'll probably show you when I finish because I got a lot to do because I'm out all day tomorrow. So this is, these last few hours I've got to get everything done. I've got a few things to do. So I'm just gonna get on with this and I'll get back to you once it's done. Okay, so I've finished Alice's birthday t-shirt now. Here it is. I think she'll like it. It's got her favourite pitman on it, so. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's done, so I'm going to head to bed now and I will get back to you tomorrow. Hi, today is Friday. It's the 1st of December today. Um, this morning, me and Lawrence have been setting up stuff for Alice's party tomorrow because I am about to head out to Leeds. I'm going to be there all day. We're going to the press night of Oliver, which is on in their bigger theatre. So I'm about to head out now and go with my friend Natasha. That should be a fun day, but when I get back, I've got a lot left to do. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get everything done before the party tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to head out now and I'll get back to you once I'm at the train station. So I'm just at the tram station now. The tram's doing about two minutes. So we should have plenty of time to get our train. It's only half two. And the train's not due till half three. So we've got an hour. It takes about half an hour to get there. So we'll have a bit of time. 
It's very cold today, very icy. Okay, so we just arrived at Victoria train station. Uh, we still got about 40 minutes to our train, so let's have a little walk around, maybe sit in a coffee shop or something for a, for a minute. But yeah, we've got 40 minutes to wait now. We're quite early, so we're gonna go and sit in Costa. We've got like half an hour, so. So we just nipped into Costa. I got a Black Forest hot chocolate. Didn't have any cream though. So I'll see what, what I think of this one. I've not tried that before. And then I got a Cherry Bakewell. In there. There we go. Tash got a blueberry muffin and a latte. So we're going to eat this. Like I said, we've got half an hour to our train. So sit here for a bit until we need to go. Okay, so our train is going from platform six. We need to go up the stairs and across the bridge because it's a very far platform. So our train has been delayed by 15 minutes, but it's due now in about two minutes. So we're just going to move down a little bit. on the train I think it's about uh, I think it's about 10 to 4 now uh, it's gonna take about an hour and a half to get there so we're probably gonna have enough time just to get some food from McDonald's and then head straight to the theatre so I'll get back to now once we have it. arrived in Leeds it's very busy because it's like half five or so now but we're gonna go and head probably to McDonald's to get some food and then we're gonna head to the theatre so the spend just... okay so we're just gonna quickly stop off at McDonald's and get something to eat before we head to the theatre okay so we've just popped in McDonald's I just got some chicken selects and chips I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head to the theatre there's the uh, Christmas markets, but we're going in this direction. Okay, 
Okay, so we've just arrived at the theatre now. We're just going to head in and then I need to go and find where I need to get my programme from. I can't quite remember. So, yeah, just heading in now. up my program from the Pristess and the board's looking through that and I picked up a couple of stickers for my kids when they get home they had some um, crocodile ones and they also have an Oliver one so I just picked up some of those okay so we're now in the theatre it is I think it's 20 to 7 it starts at 7 so it starts in 20 minutes so we're going to go in and take our seats from the quarry theatre which is a bigger fit and it's actually in the round today so it's going to be really interesting to see it perform in the round so we're going to go in and take our seats we're in row k we're in door three so we're going to go and find our way to our seats now okay so we're just inside the theater oh wow it's massive really nice we're on row k Okay, so we are in our seats now. We are on row K, seat 25, 26, I'm in seat 26, passion in seat 25. And <laughs> the view is really good from here and the space, it looks amazing. It completely transformed the third space. So it's been doing it in the, in the round, which is really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's done, but it looks amazing. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like and the view from our seat. Okay, so this is the view from our seat. Like I said, it's been completely transformed into like in the round. It looks amazing. And yeah, just can't wait for it to start now and uh, see what it's like. So I will probably get back to you now in the interval and let you know what it's like. So it is now the interval and the show is so good. It's probably the best production of Oliver that I've seen. Really enjoying it. The, uh, the staging is excellent. And yeah, really enjoying it. I'm just gonna go and get a drink now and then um, I'll come back and maybe see if I can show you a bit of the set. I just picked up an orange juice um, in the interval. I'm gonna drink this and then head back to my seat. Okay, so it is now the interval and I'm really enjoying it. The way they've staged it is really good. It's sort of in the round, but I think wherever you sat, wherever you sat, you can get oh, right, okay. a brilliant view. Yeah, yeah it's so good the way they've staged it. Singing and dancing is amazing. Yeah, the dancing and the big group numbers are just incredible. So good. I think probably the best production of Oliver I've seen. Really, really good. I don't think you've seen Oliver before, have you? I've not seen it in theatre before, but I've really enjoyed it so far. It's yeah, really it's really, really good. Definitely recommend it so far. Obviously, we've got the second half of it yet, but so far, excellent. And I'm going to tell my husband that he needs to come and see it, because I think he'll absolutely <laughs> love it. He would. So, yeah, uh, we'll get back to you now uh, at the end of the show. We'll let you know what we thought. But so far, absolutely loving it.
just arrived at the train station. The show actually finished a quarter of an hour later than it was supposed to. So we've rushed a bit to get here, but we've made it. We've, we've got plenty of time actually, but I think this is the train, yeah, it says Manchester Piccadilly. This is our train. I'm gonna get on this now. I head home, but the show was absolutely amazing. Really, really loved it. Let's get on it. Let's sit. just arrived back at Manchester Victoria. I'm gonna go now and get the tram to Piccadilly and then from there we can get a tram back home. So yeah, off to get the tram now. back from Leeds uh, we ended up getting the bus back because we're waiting for the, we just missed one tram and then the next one said it was due in eight minutes and then when it was time for it to come it changed to say it was only going to Trafford Bar and it wasn't going to where we wanted to go so then the next one was in another eight minutes and then when it got to be in three minutes it's, it went back to saying it was going to be nine minutes and we thought I can't risk it if that changes to Trafford Bar because we thought that was the last one and the bus was there so we thought we'd better just go across and get the bus just in case it didn't turn up because that was the last bus so we just went and got the bus we got the bus back I think the tram did turn up in the end so we could have just got the tram but we didn't want to risk risk it so we got the bus back but the show was so good it's definitely the best production of Oliver I've ever seen it was really really good i love the way they've staged it it was really good definitely recommend it if you can get to leeds playhouse and go and see it because i really enjoyed that and so did my friend natasha um i told lawrence you should go and see it if you can because i think you would really like it but anyway lawrence has set everything up for alice's birthday tomorrow her party so i'll just quickly show you that i'm just going to set up the table because i like to have the table set up for breakfast and then I'll probably head to bed. So I'll just quickly show you uh, what the room looks like. Okay, so we've got all her presents here. These were all little Pikmin balloons. We've got another six balloon, but it's flipped, so I need to turn it. We've got, I usually make a happy birthday banner, but I've just not had time this year. So we've got this Pikmin one, which I think she'll prefer anyway. I've got some balloon... Uh, banner up there Lawrence has stuck some Pikmin balloons around the house and then we've got these little Pikmin swirl things there so it's all set up for for in the morning I think she'll love it I think she'll really like it so yeah it is Alice's birthday in the morning so we're gonna have a party we've got a few friends and family coming around so I'll obviously film some of that for you as well and yeah i will get back to you now tomorrow So I've decided to end the vlog here because if I add Alice's birthday to the end of this vlog and it's going to be far too long so I'm going to do her birthday in a separate video um, but I hope you've enjoyed this week's weekly vlog one thing that happened this week which I'm so annoyed about is um, 
the National Lottery's big night of musicals tickets were released and I've literally been checking every single week for the last couple of months to see if these tickets are going to be released and this week because I've been so busy with Alice's birthday I didn't check so of course they were released this week and I didn't get them I literally didn't find out an hour till after they were released and by then they'd all gone so I'm absolutely gutted my brother managed to get tickets so him and his husband are going so I'm absolutely gutted so if anyone has any spare ones um, or end up not being able to go for any reason please consider me because I'd love to go so yeah if you do end up having any spares please let me know and I would love to take them off you because I really wanted to go I'm so gutted it had to be this week that it was released I've just been so busy but I haven't even looked at my phone all week I've just been that busy getting Alice's party stuff done I'm just so annoyed because literally I've been checking every single week to see if they're released it had to be this week didn't it but never mind anyway so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this week's weekly vlog i'm not sure how much i actually filmed because like i said i've just been so busy getting stuff out for alice's party done i didn't really have time to set up the camera and film most of it so like i would usually film all the baking stuff i didn't have time to do it i just needed to get it done i think i did film the pinata a little bit and then i've done other things like i made her t-shirt i didn't film that uh, I made stickers for the party bags, um, I cut out shapes on my cutting machine for the shapes for the cookies, um, stuff like that. So there's a lot of bits that I didn't film this time. Also we didn't film setting up the stuff for her party because um, like I said we just needed to get it done. So we did a little streamers, uh, Lauren's put some of the stuff up while I was in Leeds. So I just didn't have a chance to film any of that. But I hope you've still enjoyed the vlog. Um, next week is a super busy week. Uh, I've got lots of theatre on next week. Um, Monday I'm going to go to the pantomime at the uh, Opera House in Manchester because I managed to get a £13 ticket near the front. I just bought a single seat ticket. Um, not taking the kids because I just think it's too long for them. I don't think they'd be able to sit through a two and a half, I think it's a two and a half hour show. Um, usually the one hour shows are just about enough for them. I think any longer. Maybe Alice might sit through it, but Leo, he definitely wouldn't be able to. Um, so yeah, I'm not taking him to that. So I'm just going to go on my own because Lawrence isn't a fan of pantomimes. Um, then on Tuesday, we're going to, me and Lawrence are going to go and see Life of Pi as part of Lawrence's birthday. Um, and then on the Wednesday, Lawrence and I are going to see Hamilton for his actual birthday. Uh, we're also going to do something in the day. I think we're going to go bowling or something and then um, go for lunch for his birthday on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I'm going to press night of Fantastic Great Women That Changed the World at the Lowry. And also that week, we've got the enormous crocodile roll dolls and numbers crocodile it's the world premiere in leeds so we're also going to go and see that next week um and yeah that's what we've got planned so far for next week so it's a very very busy week um lots to do but anyway i hope you have enjoyed this week's weekly vlog if you have like i said please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again soon bye